Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian, and welcome back to Hearts Farm Fours. We are playing with Austria Hungary in the Battle for the Prosperous Expansion. All right, so last episode we conquered Russia again, and then this episode we're going to be likely attacking the Turks here. I think sometime in January is when we get the war goal against them, and then we'll also be working on trying to get the Japanese pushed back into the sea, take all their territory here that they took from the Soviets. So yeah, we'll be uh, working on that as well. So I think we already have all our units moving. Also took planes out of the stockpile and got them uh, training up. Also put some planes over here to cover this air zone. Start bombing the Japanese fleet. So we'll see how that ends up going. Let's go and build some more units, guys, now that we have our equipment situation improved. Uh, excuse me, our manpower situation. That was what was was blocking us for a little while. We're going to go and build uh, a few light tanks. Again, I really want to focus on the medium tanks here, but the light tanks do use different equipment, so it does make sense to continue to get them. And it's not like they're they're you know entirely useless. While they may not be great at combat, that speed is just incredibly powerful. I find them to be very useful for that reason alone. Just going to make sure that. Okay, so what I think we're going to do, guys, is go ahead and design a 40 width division design for the infantry here so we'll need a name for them so my my default name is just the monsters that's what i just call them until you guys come up with a name because this is of course the 40 width design so they're huge so yeah we're gonna make 40 width designs we're gonna get rid of the support anti-tank here and then put the logistics there instead other than that these will be remaining the same and then we're gonna want to get some more infantry going over here Obviously going to need a lot more infantry. And then we'll put the artillery over here on this side. So four artillery, and then we're going to want some anti-tank as well. Get them some anti-tank. We haven't gotten the anti-air. I typically have anti-air here, but we never did research that, and I don't think we're going to at this point. I think it's a little bit too late to be working on something like that. And I think we'll be all right. Uh, I might have some troubles with the Americans, but I think we can handle it. So we'll just do the two anti-tanks, and that should be good. We could do another... An additional two anti-tanks, I suppose. You know what? I think we will. Make sure these guys have, like, a decent heart attack. and or, I mean, they're only going to get a little bit for the heart attack, but uh, the piercing is the most important here. Now, the, the piercing's not great. Yeah, it's not great. But it, it'll have to do for now, guys. Remember, we do have to upgrade these as well. Uh, so let's just go and get infantry into the rest here. And there we go. Beautiful. Uh, so these will be our 40 width division designs. I don't think anything else needs to be changed here. Let's go ahead and save this design. Go ahead and give them a different icon. Again, we do need a name for them, so right now we're just going to give them a monster look here. Or could even go with a big ol' axe, I guess. So just go ahead and suggest names down in the comments for the monster divisions. The medium tanks still need a name as well, so again, feel free to, to post comments down there and we'll select whatever is the best one. So we're not looking to really build a lot of these. We're mostly going to want to switch up current division designs to these. So we'll build a few, but let's go ahead and change up some of the division designs, particularly in this blue army here, which is staying in Europe. I think we'll go ahead and take maybe all eight of the divisions assigned right here. Let me just take a look here. Maybe we'll just do all these 16. I don't know how much that would require in manpower and equipment. Probably a lot. I don't know if we would get it solved. Why then? Uh, but you know what? Let's just do... So because of that, because I don't know if we'll get them all, get it all solved. We'll just do 10 for right now. Switch them over to this new design. And you can see it's going to use a lot of the manpower we have available. It does seem that we do have most of the equipment that they're going to need. All right, excellent. So we're going to do that. Let's we'll see if these guys have a trait to get. They do not. We're going to look through all the generals and see if any of them have any traits that we could make use of. Probably not. Nah, looks like nobody's got anything. I thought it was worth checking, though. Uh, we'll check the, the field marshal as well. He might actually. Yeah, he actually has something here. All right, that's fantastic. So we could go infantry expert, uh, which is nice for that division attack, you know, for all the divisions underneath the field marshal. Uh, but I prefer getting the field marshal benefits, and I think we're going to do the organization first. It's not a lot of ways to get logistics wizards nice as well. But yeah, not a lot of ways to get reinforced rates, so we're going to go with that. I think that'd be super helpful. All right, excellent. All right, so let's let it play. Remember, we're trying to get to January to declare war on Turkey, and it does seem that some of these guys aren't set up to deploy yet, so we do need to, to fix that. So they'll go straight over to here, and these guys as well. 
straight into this army, go and deploy any of them, and see if that'll allow me to... I'm going to train one more of those. Oh, it looks like they tra they did deploy the mountain troops. Damn it. I was going to see if it'll let me buy build another one, which it does. But it did get rid of our, our little line here. So I think we'll focus on mountain troops for our uh, special forces. Could, of course, get marines for those invasions. Uh, but we don't even have that tech yet, so we'd have to research it. So for right now, we'll just do the, the Highlanders here. All right, so that looks pretty good. Used up a good chunk of manpower, but remember we're going to be getting a lot more. And so these guys did not go into here, so let's go ahead and get them deployed into this training army. And we'll continue taking a look at all the battles that we do here. And we will speed this up a little bit as well. Although we do have to fight the Japanese still. We're just waiting until our troops get over there. I do expect that they'll make some progress here before we are able to make it there. Yeah, they are taking some of our territory. It's not going to be any way to stop that, though, until we get our troops over here. We did get the last fighter effort, or excuse me, the light fighter effort. So from here, we can go and get a uh, another research bonus for the close air for the close air support. We can also do some naval techs or the air doctrine one. Yeah, I think we'll get the research bonus for the close air support. I think that's the best one. Could do tactical bombers instead, but yeah, we're just going to go for the, the close air support since we already have those. And despite the fact that we do have like a lot of enemies left to, to defeat and the fact that you have two major powers, Japan and the Americans, uh, but for the most part we are kind of winding down on the campaign already uh, simply because of the fact that I think Japan shouldn't be too difficult to defeat. And so really the only trickier power to beat is America, which so often ends up being the end of our campaign. So yeah, they're going to be able to advance here as well. One thing I didn't think about, yeah, that we're at war with them as well. So we're going to need to get a line of troops there. All right, here's what we'll do. Let's just take a few of the troops that are signed here. Just get like these three and then give them a new line here. And hopefully that'll be enough to get the job done. If it's not, we might need to assign them more once we finish up in these regions here. Yeah, it's just going to take time for all the Green Army troops to get to their locations. So we'll just have to wait and be patient. We we'll also want to get some planes assigned here over Turkey before we actually go to war with them. That would be a good idea. Uh, who is Mongolia's faction? Comintern. Okay. Who's all in the Comintern still? Yeah, I would say we're just going to decline that. Uh, I don't know if we'll end up fighting them or not. So yeah, we've already lost a plane here attempting to bomb. Uh, we got to make sure that we do not let them take the airbase because of that bug. Obviously, that caused a major issue. So yeah, we don't want them to take the airbase there. We we'll just have to keep our eye on them. We are starting to get troops over here. All right, excellent. Let's go ahead and start taking this territory now. Now that these troops are here. I know some of these aren't supposed to be here. They're supposed to go into other locations, but I think we're going to go ahead and make use of them real quick just to get this conquered. Because they will not be able to invade from neutral territory here. So as long as we get all this territory here conquered, then we are done. Alright, so let's go and bring this guy over this way. I know some of them are supposed to be going further over here, but that's okay. Just want to get this here wrapped up. Okay, so the Commonwealth of the Bahamas has capitulated. And let's have one of these guys just come down here and grab that province for us. Alright, these guys have taken this one. Let's go and push forward. Again, just trying to get these guys defeated here. All right, we'll take a look and see what happened here. All right, just sunk some convoys. We did engage with some destroyers, though. So when it comes to this region here, the Americans do still have destroyers escorting their convoys. And we did move to this area last episode, and because of that, we are sinking a lot of convoys. Yeah, having quite a bit of success here with sinking those convoys. Oh, yes, I did forget about our... Uh, operatives. I've been wanting to get these assigned for a little while. One of them, only one of them's really been doing any work here, and that has been trying to reduce our revolt risk through here. And, and we'll take a look and see how well he's done with that. We'll see if there's anywhere we want to like change him up. I mean, we're already in much lower odds throughout this territory, much lower revolt percentage. I mean, so maybe you might want to go somewhere that's a little bit more dangerous. Yeah, like right here. I'm seeing some pretty high numbers here. So maybe right here, and then I'll spread around to the rest of Poland. Yeah, we'll do that, and then we're going to want to start sending people to America. So let's go ahead and get them going here now. Start building up so that we can maybe do some operations against them. Uh, so we'll do two. 
two operatives here. Let them get that built up. And then with this last character here, uh, let's go ahead and also have him do the uh, root out resistance. Just until we start getting compliance up a little bit higher. I'm just seeing uh, where it's worst off here. Again, it does feel like this is the worst location. So maybe here in Moscow, because I think it's going to get really bad there. It's really low right now because we did just get control of that territory. I think it's going to get a lot worse in time. So yeah, just have them working on that for us. And I don't think we're requiring much manpower. Yeah, none for our garrison. The Portuguese are doing all that for us. Um, so it, it doesn't really impact us that much. But it does impact the Portuguese, which got to be having some manpower issues with as much... Uh, manpower is they're giving us for those you'd expect they're probably having some problems uh, So let's go ahead and see if we're done here. These guys are getting this. Let's go ahead and go to here to cut these guys off Yeah, this will cut the Americans off here right, We're gonna bring these guys over this way and then let's go ahead and take this territory here These guys can keep on pushing forward if they want they're just gonna get themselves cut off Still no troops over this way and still nobody over here just yet either So we're gonna have to be patient all right, let's go ahead and have... All right, so they're going that way. So we'll wait before we attack them until after we've taken that province. So they'll be cut off from supply. Let's see if there's any other areas of concern. Oops. Let's just stop him for a second. Let's see if there's any other areas of concern here. No, just those little spots. All right, so we do have to give them this order again. We'll see who gets there first. Uh, four days and 12 hours. These guys are probably going to be a little bit quicker. Uh, it's four days and 11 hours. So it's not much quicker. And it looks like the Germans will likely be there. Yeah, a little bit before that. So instead, let's just go and attack them here. And then the Germans can take that territory for us. Yeah, they should get there and cut them off before we have them defeated. There we go. All right, so this will result in their complete destruction here. These two uh, divisions, I think it's just two, a British and an American division. Yep. Okay, so that will result in them being completely destroyed. We do have some military factories. I got these assigned before we started today. And we are still having some issues here. It looks like the medium tanks are still the problem. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and just pump a bunch of factories into those. We are having some tungsten issues as well. So we'll trade for another factory's worth. And let's just take a look see what we sunk over here. Just got some more convoys. So we'll go through these again. All right, so a lot of American convoys, and I, again, I assume those are troop convoys. Yeah, troop convoys, all through here. All right, excellent. So killing a lot of troops uh, that way. We didn't look at the casualties last episode at the end like I typically do. Okay, so Mongolia has actually joined us as an ally, so they are now at war with them. So they might end up conquering that territory, which would not be good. Let's go and see if we can't get there first. They are now cut off from supply there as well, so they should be pretty easy to to defeat. And we do have some troops over here. I don't really want to fight them there, so we'll just avoid it. All right, so yeah, we just need to wait until we get more more troops over here. I'm just taking them a little bit of time to get over here. Let's go ahead and have them take their railroads over here. Seems like they're taking their sweet time. All right, so these guys are now defeated. And they have capitulated over here. Excellent. So all these troops should start joining us. We're just going to go ahead and take these two out and have them all come on over to this front now. All right, so should have that one wrapped up there. And then from there, all the Green Army troops can head over to our territory here. Now, we do need to build up the infrastructure a little bit. Of course, there's resources to get, but our main goal will be to make sure that we have probably at least level five supply going through here to make sure that supplies can get you know across our land by land efficiently. So let's just make sure we got like a level five province all the way around. Now they might still try and go through there. I don't know. You know, supply, we don't really have a lot of control over. You'd think it would go like through here, you know, but I don't know that that's going to work. So let's just build up and make sure that it, it, it ends up being level five all the way across. And of course, some of these areas are going to be fairly low no matter what. We'll go up to like, yeah. I mean, and this is helping us too because we are getting resources out of this. So yeah, let's go and build across here. I don't think we'll do... I don't think we're going to do that one. We'll just build here. And then go like so. Alright, so that looks good. Alright, so that'll keep them occupied for a very long time. And I almost want to tick those up to the top. Or at least tick down some stuff. I mean, it's all infrastructure that we're working on, I guess. So we'll just wait. We'll be patient here. 
All right, so these guys can now push forward here. There's nobody there. Let's go and just turn this down a notch. And then we'll start taking territory wherever we can as we get troops on over here. Again, just gonna take a little while before they all arrive because it's quite the distance that they are going. Do you wanna take a look at this battle here? I don't think it's that one. I think it's uh, one of these ones down here. Just more American convoys being sunk. That's this one right here. Okay, so we did lose a submarine there. That's what I wanted to see. So we lost a submarine. We haven't lost any in a while. So overall, their destroyers have not been very effective. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the naval mode here. Yeah, because we do have a whole bunch of uh, submarines ready to join their uh, partners here. How many do we currently have here? Uh, looks like we have eight, so we could get two more going. Let's have one of these join these guys here. We might just split these into separate uh, fleets now since we have so many. It's going to be difficult trying to have these guys join without... Yeah, we're going to have some trouble. Yeah, we might have to wait until they're, they've joined up there. Because yeah, otherwise we're going to have some issue trying to create a new one here. We might just have to... Yeah. Might have difficulty adding these guys. But yeah, we'll wait till they join them and see if it's a little bit easier to, to add them. Alright, so again, this is the only front we're currently fighting on. Looks like somebody got there, so we'll have to wait. Alright, so let's try and get behind these guys now. And also, let's push forward here. Yeah, Japanese have been pushing forward here, just kind of taking advantage of us not being here defending our territory, of course. And, yeah, we won't go over here and look at every single one, guys. I'm mainly concerned about these ones here to see if we're, like, taking uh, submarine losses. And Germany continues to push forward in Africa as well. Alright, so yeah, we'll, we'll try and cut these guys off. So we don't have to fight them all the way across this rather rough territory to get those extra logistic companies. That'll be helpful. See what we want to get next. I suppose we can do a logistics three then. Yeah, we'll undo that. Okay. So these, they are attacking us there. And it looks like we will get defeated. So yeah, the push is back over here. Maybe not. Okay, yeah, we might actually end up winning there. We'll have to see, guys. All right, so we have gotten here, so let's go ahead and grab that province. So we'll have that division there cut off. Yeah, they did unfortunately defeat us here. All right, again, just kind of got to wait. I'm gonna grab that province now. And, and it's such slow going over here. I think adding some fighters here would be really helpful, but we gotta wait until we get this air base, you know, pushed, you know, off of the front a little bit, so they don't take any territory from us. See if there's any other locations pushed forward here. Doesn't look like that's the case, but what we should do is go ahead and attack these guys so they can't leave here. Yeah, before we get there. All right, so we're about to cut them off. Attacking here, well, I guess we'll keep that going. Almost got that province taken, so let's go ahead and have these guys push forward there. Nobody's defending. Uh, we have the support weapons four, excellent. Uh, so, still in 1942, do need to get the new mechanized, so I guess we'll get that. There's always new things to get. Let's go and get these guys here destroyed now. Alright, so they're pulling back, kind of changing up which direction they want to go here as we get more and more troops here. Uh, we're going to have a full 24 divisions here, so supply is going to be kind of an issue until we get all the uh, infrastructure built up. You, you can already see that it's kind of an issue. Let's see if we can't get behind these guys here. So we'll keep the attack going for now. All right, so we do have to fight them there, and that's not gonna work, so we'll just go and pull back. All right, a lot more Japanese divisions over here, guys. Quite a few more. All right, we really need to get that air base, so let's go and send another division over here. And yeah, just waiting to get all of our troops onto this frontier. Uh, let's go and take a look and see which battle this was here. And we'll also take a look and see if uh, we do. What we're gonna do we're only going to allow one more to build here for those submarines, and then we're going to change them up so they're not going to the Black Sea anymore. And then let's go ahead and have all these guys here. I almost want to go ahead and have... We'll do it this way. I'm going to try and have them... There we go, that worked. All right, and then we'll just be able to create a new separate fleet here, a new separate task force. So that'd be exactly 10 doing cowboy raiding across this region here. 
All right, fantastic. So we really built up our, our submarine fleet. It's looking a lot better overall. Have enough submarines now to replace any losses. Though of course, we really haven't been taking any losses. And we're just killing a ton of American troops. An absolute ton of American troops. So we do have a potential naval invasion uh, over here. We don't know if our one division will be enough to defend it. Remember, they do have the very large... Uh, coastal fort here, so they'll have that massive bonus, uh, and then we'll also be able to bomb them and try and sink them with our submarines, do some damage to those convoys. Japanese are having a lot more success against the China, so that's uh, against the Chinese, so that's a bit concerning. Obviously, not what we'd like to see there. Let's go ahead and try and push forward here. We did get the better radar, excellent. So we want to build that up some, but we have all these other things that we're currently building. So I think we're going to stop building radar for a little bit, or stop researching, I should say. Let's go after the atomic research here. Give us that research bonus, should be helpful. So yeah, just going to stop these guys from pushing forward any further. I don't know if when these guys are going to get here and see. Nah, we won't be able to get there before them, more than likely. Nah, I don't think so. We'll just wait. So just about have troops over here, enough troops to stop them from advancing. Yeah, looks like we should do well in that regard. Let's go and attack them here. And just go and stop the attack here now, because it's clearly not going to work. All right, so we should be able to take that province, and then we'll be one province away from being able to cut that division off here. Oops, I didn't realize that was paused. My bad, guys. All right, so we don't want to attack here with these guys just yet. The organization is a little bit too low. I think that's going to continue being a problem as we see supply be an issue here. Uh, we are about to be attacked right there, so we'll have to attack them just to lock that down until we get more divisions over to this province. Yeah, it's going to be a problem. Trying not to get cut off from supply here. Uh, we did finally finish the cipher for the Soviet Union. A lot of people were suggesting that I should have used that against the Soviets. We, I didn't use it because we didn't have it, guys. Uh, had to be redone. Uh, also, I did forget that we have this invasion over here, so let's go ahead and have... Uh, that's kind of unfortunate, because I don't really want these guys executing their orders here. So we're going to have to finish up the, the attack here first. And we will need to bring our submarines over here as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and make sure that they cover this region for us. There we go, and then maybe we'll be able to get that invasion going. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. So we'll go ahead and take care of that, and then we'll be able to give these guys a, a new line here. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to get there in time, guys. I really don't know. Two days and like seven hours here. We're looking at uh, two days and 21 hours. It does seem we will get there in time. Just barely. All right, so they're going over this way. They're going that way. Yeah, it looks like they still decided to push forward here. Despite not having an actual order, which is quite unfortunate. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure why they decided to push forward without an order, but they did. I'm going to see if I can't get here before these guys. Three days and zero hours. Four days and four hours. Doesn't look like it will work. However, we could go ahead and put some, some planes over here now. Uh, I, th I think that's exactly what we're going to do. Let me see if we have any fighters in the stockpile. We do. Uh, so let's go ahead and just use those ones over here. We'll use our, uh, you know, our better planes against the Turks for right now. And then we'll move them over here in time. All right, so this is going to be kind of a mix of the fighter ones and, and fighter twos. All right, so let's go and get these guys deployed here. Kind of help us out. And then we'll, we'll go ahead and get some close air support deployed here as well. If we have any in the stockpile. We should. We are putting a lot of factories towards planes, so we are building them up fairly quickly. All right, just kind of a mix of, of different closed air support ones here. And then we can just do a few more of those, and and that should be good, guys. Yeah, because I don't know that we'll have enough in the stockpile to do anything else just yet, so... And, and that should be good enough to give us the bonuses that we need. Yeah, you can see we're going to move a lot quicker here. Yeah, it does, not enough to beat them there, though, unfortunately. Yeah, it looks like they likely get there before us. Let me just see here. We're very, very close. But yeah, they will get there just before us, so we'd have to, like, attack them, which is not really a possibility. Man, that's a shame. Alright, whatever. We're just going to keep the attack going, then. Did knock out that national focus. Let's see what we want to get next. Could do the parachute uh, battalions. I think we're going to go after something here for the naval. 
I mean, there's really only two choices, Air Doctrine or some Naval Bonuses. And as far as which one we'd go, I think we'd likely go with Reform. Yeah, I think that's the best way to go here. You know, let's want to finish the Air ones up, and then we'll just focus solely on the Navy, since uh, th that's all we have left. All right. We'll move our planes here in about a month in in that Turkish territory. And yeah, I'm, I'm kind of irritated that they're just doing what they want here, despite the fact that I ended that. And I have to keep it like that until these guys finish this invasion. Once I finish that invasion, then we can, you know, take control out of the AI's hands, which is just, you know, it just results in issues. Like, for instance, we could have easily cut this division off, but now we won't because we decided to attack them and fight them in the mountains. <laughs> that was so stupid. Just really dumb. And that's why I don't let them control the, uh, the movements, guys. I mean, like, look at this. Or at least we're not doing this. This is the Germans crossing the river, but yeah. Why would you want them in control of your divisions? I just don't understand it, man. So yeah, I'm not really interested in attacking them there. I'd rather cut troops off. Because I don't really want to have to fight these guys all the way across. That's the, the problem. You don't want to have to fight them going all the way across this territory here. You know, fight them all the way down this way. It's just uh, unnecessary. Uh, if we won here, we can stop them. All right, which we have. All right, excellent. Uh, so let's go ahead and delete that. Take the AI off of control here and then move these guys over to here even though I know we have far too many divisions as it is over here we're due to the supply all right so they should no longer be under the control of the AI allowing us to stop them from doing silly things it doesn't look like that one's gonna work out we want more troops to come over here anyways and yeah we're gonna try and get behind them here now the Germans are still gonna be here causing us problems and I don't know that we're ciphering anything let me just double check Still doing Britain. Uh, it's only been 87 days. I guess we'll let them finish, but it's not really necessary. Frankly, we need to work on the Americans here. How are we doing on getting the Americans? They're at 22%. I'd like to do some operations against them, if at all possible. All right, so we don't want to support that attack. Let's go this way. We did get the fuel refining. That's going to be so helpful here. Yeah, very, very helpful, guys. Let's go ahead and get... One more for fuel finding, and then I think we'll probably be done with that. Uh, we probably don't even need it. We have so much fuel at this point. Yeah, we got a lot of oil, guys. All right, so yeah, this guy was able to retreat here and then defeat us, and then we did a lot of fighting the mountains for nothing because these guys are no longer cut off. Uh, yeah, that's that's unfortunate. It went down that way, but again, when the AI is in control, they just kind of do what they want. So, all right, so we're just waiting for our trips to get some organization back over here and get some. Some movements done. Uh, I'd like to attack these guys here, so we're just gonna let them move. And then we'll attack the uh, the weaker divisions here. It looks like there should only be one there, so let's go and push forward here now. And yeah, our divisions are, are pretty weak because of the organization issues, because that's being caused by the the lack of supply here. So getting this built up is gonna be super helpful. But again, we just gotta wait until they they finish it up a little bit. In fact, let's go ahead and tick these down to the bottom here, the, just these two, so we can focus on getting this infrastructure uh, infrastructure constructed. Do want to take a look at this one, just kind of see, uh, make sure we're not losing too many submarines down here. All right, not doing too bad. And yeah, we have, I think it's complete here, so we won't mess with it at all. And I think these guys will be the last one that we build there. And then all of our future submarines will be going into Venice. All right, excellent. And do we have less dockyards? Oh, we do. Uh, so let's go ahead and make sure that at least one's going into convoy. That's that's it. That's all we really need going into convoys. I've been tempted to bomb them here, not having a lot of success. Because of supply, I don't want to put too many planes there. we got to wait until we get this infrastructure up before we go ahead and do that. Let's go and attack these guys here just so we don't have to keep fighting them right there point of course is not to win it's just to get up this way we're tempted to cut these guys off but that's the goal is to get over here and cut them completely off from supply and that's the gonna be the most efficient way to do this let's bring these guys on over here and then let's see if we can't get them cut off here when do they leave it's gonna be a long time yeah quite a long time so we should be able to get up there before them all right so yeah, he's going this way, so he's not going to be an issue. 
We get there in two days and 15 hours. They get there in four days and 17 hours. So yeah, we'll get there first and then we'll have them cut off and we'll get them destroyed. Looking for other areas to cut off troops. We'll probably want to do an attack right here. Again though, we're just going to wait till we get more troops on this front. Yeah, it's going to be a problem until we do. We just won't be able to get it done. All right, just taking a look at these here. Just seeing if we lost submarines, which we did not. Uh, let's go to move our planes over here now before I forget, because you already know that I'm gonna. All right, so we have troops training. We're gonna, or excuse me, I have the planes training. We're gonna let them finish up. And then let's bring, hmm, surprisingly, we do not have very much room here. Let's bring one of these guys over here. We won't have them fly overhead just yet, of course. They'll be flying over there as well. And then have these guys fly over here. Okay, so that's, I mean, we could put a little bit more here, maybe another air wing of fighters here. All right, and then we'll want to bring some planes over here as well. And then some, uh, some of these close air support. Uh, a lot of these guys are training up. These two aren't though. And so we'll bring them over here. All right, excellent. That should be enough planes. Give us a little bit of assistance there. Did sink an American convoy there. All right. I don't know if they were attempting to do an invasion here against this port. Possibility. Hard to say. I didn't see any notifications about it though. All right, so we're moving here. Let's go and have these guys move across the river now. So once we take that, we're going to get these guys here destroyed. Then we'll push over here, make sure that all the divisions that are here remain cut off from supply and easy to defeat. So we did get there in time, just in time, in fact. Let's go ahead and now start working on destroying these divisions here. All right, so this guy's going over this way. So still got to get here before all of the divisions here are cut off, and then we'll, we'll focus on pushing forward at that point. Now, we do need to attack these guys here. Make sure that they don't stop us from grabbing that province. And then let's go ahead and grab this one now. That the division's pretty weak from his attack. All right, so these guys have been destroyed. Excellent. So yeah, all these divisions here will just wipe out very soon. As soon as we get this done, and we'll just have one division come down here. Hopefully that'll be enough. Maybe we'll send two to make sure. And then yeah, we'll focus on getting these guys here destroyed. All right, so we were able to get across that river before these guys. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and now push forward here. Just about here, and just takes so long to move in these really large states over here. It takes a long time to, to get the move done. And then from here, we'll see if he gets attacked. He did not. So from here, we'll go ahead and push forward, and we're just going to go straight down to grab that port as quickly as we can, while one of these other divisions here will come up to this province here and then take that for us. All right, so these guys are completely cut off from supplies. So let's go and work on getting them defeated now. All right, so we've already won there. Fantastic. Just going to get everybody pushing here now. So they can tack over to these regions. We're going to stop that division. Just put them on defense for now. It looks like he would lose there, but I think that'll be changing here soon. Yeah, because they're not in a good position overall. I'll have to come back up over here and get this province after he finishes. And it also has an air base, so we'll come back up and get it as soon as he's done. All right, so we have one here, just about one there. And so now we need to start pushing forward right here. Again, these divisions organization is pretty low, but so is the enemies. All right, so go and attack them there. Let's also attack here. All right, so just about got these guys here wrapped up. And for there, we'll be able to start from there. We'll be able to start working on the planning for the invasion of the Japanese homeland. And we're going to do what we've done in the past and had, you know, a good track record with. And that's attacking up here in the north. This port up here, they typically don't defend it as well as they should. They also don't have control of the sea as much as they do around in their other areas. We did sink a Japanese destroyer there. Excellent. So yeah, this is typically a another Japanese destroyer. So yeah, it's typically easier up here. We'll move our planes over here after we're done with these guys, because again, it's going to cause some supply issues. So I want to make it sure that at the very least we have this done. All right, and they've just about pushed over here and taken that port. Hopefully we don't see any uh, resistance over there. And we'll just decline their one division. 
don't think that would be all that helpful. All right, not looking at any naval invasions over here just yet from the Japanese. However, it does look like we are facing potential invasions over here in Iberia. Okay, well, we have a division in each part, so hopefully that'll be enough to defend that territory. But yeah, it's pretty good that we have all of our, our troops over here. Uh, but I think we should build a few more. I, I feel like we don't have quite enough of the, the defenders for what we want to do with them. So let's just go ahead and get 10, 10 more divisions here, guys. To help us out. All right, so they'll, uh, oops, my bad. That is the wrong army for them to be joining. All right, uh, so I guess we can build some more medium tanks here. We have more manpower to make use of. All right, that looks good. And we're also switching up all those divisions, but we're gonna have to wait to switch them up. And I never did train these guys. Yeah, I should have got them training while they're sitting here. I did uh, forget about doing that. When do we get this? How much time do we have? Because we probably won't finish their training. Yeah, we're just gonna have to stop the training for now, guys. Oops, nope, that's not right. We want them to continue training. We wanna stop these guys training. We did just get the war goals, and so now we have to wait for them to get that organization back up. That's okay. Uh, let's go and take these guys and put them onto this red army here. And then have this division here join this army here. Uh, it looks like the red army still has orders, so let's go and stop the orders. We'll be declaring war on them very soon. Let's just take a look at how long we have till the 9th of March. We'll probably declare war in February, I suppose, get the organization back up from that little training I did, which should, I probably shouldn't have done. All right, so we're going to attack over that way. And we have almost taken the port here. So yeah, I'm hoping we can get this done with before we go to war with the Turks. So I don't have to focus on this region any longer. Yeah, just get this all taken over. And then we'll uh, get those naval invasions planned. Get more planes over here as well. Because you know we're going to need a lot more. And we did have to fight somebody over here, but it looks like we should be able to win without any further assistance. Let's go and have this guy take care of that for us. He should be able to get there before this guy does. All right, so yeah, we'll, we'll set up a couple naval invasions from these two areas here. That'll also result in defending those two ports for us, and I think they're different supply zones too, so yeah. So we want to spread them out a little bit so we don't overstretch the supply here. All right, so we do have a few things to take care of. We have a military factory to get assigned. Let's do, let's we'll put it into the, you know, actually, let's put it into the naval bombers. We have a decision available. This is all developing this territory here. We actually have quite a bit of political power, so maybe we want to do that. We've already changed up our manpower laws. Could change from, from limited exports, I suppose, but I feel like we're, we're doing pretty good on the resources right now. I think just about everything is good here, in fact. So yeah, we could go and start taking decisions here. And the ones we'd probably want to take is, is ones here that give us, I think, steel. I think steel would be the one that we want the most. Could do this one as well, so we can build more stuff. See if there's anything else we want to do. What we, what might be good is to increase the overall control of the non-aligned. Yeah, that could be good, because uh, it'll increase our, our stability. So I think we might end up doing that, guys. Yeah, let, let's just take a look and see if there's anything else that we really want to do here. Uh, of course, the we'd want to do the Institute pre Press Censorship to do that. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. Let's go and do that, that'll be most of our political power, but we'll have enough to go ahead and expand on the steel, uh, since I don't think that's, that might not be something we actually need. We actually don't need that. Okay, well, I've already taken the decision. I forgot that we were doing really, really good on steel now. Yeah, my bad. Should have been a uh, tungsten or something that we should have should have focused on there. So they're wrapping this territory up here, but let's go ahead and get these guys assigned now uh, to their naval invasion preparation. Uh, so let's do one naval invasion from here to hit the port up there. Yeah, and then we'll just send a few troops here. And we'll make sure that one of these guys is coming over here. But yeah, we're gonna want quite a few troops assigned to each one to make sure that they're spread out. Let's just do three more and do 12 and 12. Then yeah, all the rest of the divisions that are assigned there will go to the other location. We might have to spread this out a little bit differently because of supply. I think they'll have more supply in this one than the other one. 
All right, so there's the 12 divisions. Let's get naval invasion planned here. Probably not going to be able to initiate this naval invasion. Typically, these are harder locations to take. So I don't expect us to be able to initiate them, but we'll see. We'll see what happens, guys. We're also going to want to go ahead and assign more planes over here. Oh, yeah, this is clearly not going to be enough. We also have here, but let's go ahead and move them over to here and then have the one doing close air support have him do naval strike. And we could put a few more planes here, but let's get a few going over to here. Although we haven't taken that region yet, so we do have to wait just a little bit before we're able to do that. Uh, do we have any more naval bombers to assign? We do, but I think we'll assign them right there. Get control of that region. Uh, as far as like uh, some of these fighters here that aren't moving yet, we might want to go ahead and move a few of them over like this guy here. Make sure that we maintain control of the skies here. All right, hopefully 600 will be enough there. All right, so I think we are just about ready. Yeah. They're just getting their... Now they're getting entrenchment up, which isn't necessary. So yeah, I, I think we'll go ahead and declare war on the Turks now, guys. And yeah, they're guaranteeing the Turks. Doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and call in our allies so that the Germans... Well, maybe I shouldn't have called in our allies, actually. All right, I kind of regret doing that, but they probably would have came in any damn way. Uh, yeah, I don't really want them to get any of this territory here, now that I think about it, but it is what it is, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and attempt to attack across here. I don't know if any of these are going to be effective. Let's also make sure that we put our planes into the sky now. Uh, so they'll want to be doing those missions while everybody but the naval bomber here is also assigned. And then over here, same deal. Get them assigned to their, their missions. All right, so you can see that this one's not effective all that one is. Okay, uh, at least one of them is. And then we're gonna wanna go ahead and just push forward here, go straight over to Istanbul, not even push forward here at all. Attempt to first get them all knocked out. Uh, they might actually have a, oh, they actually do have a naval base here. They built a naval base there. Okay, so they will still have supply. That's why we'll I have to get across here first. So this is what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and take all these guys and have them attack across the river there. See if we can't get across. I know, again, not the best way to do that. I don't want to get them all cut off from supply immediately. All right, so we almost have, yeah, we did just win there, excellent. So we're starting to bomb the, the Turkish fleet now. Let me just double check and see if there's anything over here we need to be concerned about. Still attempting to get that there. I think we're going to take this guy and make sure he goes over there. I think he'll get there first. And he can stay here. You don't want anybody to attack right there. Eh, I did sink another Japanese destroyer. All right, excellent. Remember all those ships we attack and destroy, uh, the ones we sink, will get us war participation. So it's all quite helpful. Uh, doesn't look like they've been attacked here just yet. I don't think they've launched it. Okay, so we're still safe there. A lot of uh, troop convoys being sunk though, so I just assume that they are launching their attacks. So here we're largely on the defense for right now. Let them attack us and exhaust themselves is what I say. We want to look for a good point to uh, attack in somebody where that somewhere that's not mountains. So here and here, along with right there, would all work. We're just gonna have to wait until they finish up attacking us and we finish those defenses. So neither one of these have been effective. That's unfortunate. We're gonna have to pull them back then. We don't want them to attack us and and destroy our troops. And this doesn't look like it's going to be effective either. Uh, we have gotten here. Let's go and hurry up and get these guys going this way. I'm going to send a couple light tanks over there as well. Let's get these ones going here first. And then let's go hurry up and get the wind there and we'll come up behind them. But yeah, trying to get that Istanbul first. Let's go straight across now. And maybe take one of these and sign him there. And just take a couple have these guys really race over to here so we can do the attack right there since this was not effective. So we just still have to get that port to get them cut off. Oh, oh damn it. <laughs> Alright, so we need to slow this down a little bit because yeah, we, we ended up moving too quick there and we lost our positioning. Uh, so we do have some factories to take them from, so we're going to want to make sure we're getting those assigned. We'll see what we're lacking the most of right now. Seeing support equipment has now become a problem again, so we'll put all our factories into that. Yeah, not effective on either of those two attacks, unfortunately. Let's just go straight across over to there. 
All right, so yeah, these guys are coming over here, and then we'll get them pushing forward. Hurry up and grab territory here. We'll take a look and see if there's anything over here that we can do now. All right, so we're actually losing that attack right there, so let's go ahead and attempt to attack these two here, see if that'll work. And then remember, we want to attack right there as well, so let's take these guys and send them on over there. And here, two, though that one's, I'm not entirely sure how that one's gonna end up going. We'll see, guys. Still defending here, so we have to wait. Let me just see if we can't attack now, though. And then what we'll do is just attack them to end that. I'll pull it back now. All right, so let's go and make sure that we're continuing pushing forward with these guys. Again, just going after key victory points, get all these ports taken, all that kind of good stuff. Go straight towards Ankara, the fastest route. All these guys go over this way. And yeah, just trying to get these light tanks taking as much territory as possible. Go all the way across here now. Maybe. <laughs> and then, uh, see who's not moving right now. Looks like they're all set to move. Yeah, looks like they're all moving. All right, so these guys are now cut off from supplies, so let's get them destroyed now. A lot of uh, Turkish uh, troops here. Quite a few. All right, so that one's not going to be effective. All right, but well, if we send these guys in, then it might be, perhaps. All right, so just pushing forward here. Still probably not going to be able to advance here. We're going to have to wait till some of those divisions leave before we're going to find any real success there. This should hopefully be a fairly quick conflict. So it's, it's hard to say exactly how it's going to end up going here. These guys are just clearly losing, so we'll just stop it. Still losing on these two, or excuse me, still winning on these two attacks. So keep those going. All right, so let's go ahead and push forward here now. Oops, my bad. One of those guys to push forward there. So these, these tanks are so fast. It's incredibly effective because of that speed. So we'll have him go that way now. And then have this guy. Yeah, he can keep going the way he's going right now. Let's go and have one of these divisions wipe out that province there for us. I'm gonna push forward here as well. All right, looking good. Uh, just about got these guys destroyed. Let's go ahead and put all of our forces on that effort. There we go. And so now they can come over to these other provinces, help us out. Take a look, see if we had any success over here. We did win, but we haven't moved just yet. So I might have to wait a little bit. All right, and you can see that their troops are now coming over here to try and protect their capital, because they are in trouble. These guys can go this way instead. Keep that attack going, uh, just to lock those guys down temporarily. And it looks like we have a division here that'll have to get destroyed, but we'll take care of that later. Right, so these guys are now going over this way, and these guys here should be now cut off from supply. They still have supply, though, so we'll have to wait a second. Let's go and attack them there. Again, the purpose isn't to win, though it looks like we will win. The purpose is to stop them from being able to come defend their territory here. All right, so these guys are going over this way. Just about got Ankara, even with just one tank division attacking. Still finding success there. Uh, we'll take a look and see if, uh, yeah, we are ready to move forward here. So let's go ahead and have, I don't even know... If we'll be able to win any of these because our organization is so low here, but we'll try. Try and get some uh, troops pushing forward here. Attack right there as well. See how that ends up going down. And let's go ahead and take... You know, actually, let's go ahead and just leave this guy here and just push forward right there. And then we'll have these guys push forward here. Just to lock them down so that we can grab that province behind them. Let's go ahead and have these guys go across this way now. Let's go and stop that attack. Clearly, uh, not working again. The point there was to lock those troops down, which they effectively did. All right, and then these guys can go over here. Let's go and attack here. Make sure they don't get out of there. And we'll get them destroyed. All right, having a lot of success here, though. Uh, it's been going pretty well overall. Uh, let's go and take any troops that, or excuse me, uh, any planes that are over here. Get them covering this region for us. Same thing with these guys here. We could probably fit them all here, actually. Yeah, it looks like we should be able to fit them all over here. It's a lot of planes there. Plenty enough, I think, to get us those bonuses. All right. I uh, still have to destroy this unit here. Just trying to push forward to the coast. 
just gotta wait until some of these troops get over to here, I guess. As long as it doesn't get the, doesn't get the coast, we'll be fine. Alright, so he's gonna go take care of that territory for us. Let's go make sure he stays here. And then we'll come over here. Uh, I'm not sure how they're doing at this moment. As far as uh, capitulating. Hopefully should be soon, though. Alright, so still doing that battle right there. We'll have these guys come over here and attack there when they get here. Still having some problems there, but we'll keep them going. And then these guys can come over here and grab that victory point from us. We gotta get the Ankara capital here. Before we'll, we'll win this. Alright, so continue push, pushing forward along the coast there. Let's go over here. Alright, and winning there, so we'll keep them going, I suppose. Again, this is really not the point here. This is where we win, is on this side of things. It's really all that matters. Alright, so let's go get these guys here destroyed. Attempt to anyway. No, we're currently attacking across a river, so let's actually send some more troops there, make sure that gets done efficiently. And let's try attacking here with help from the light tanks. It's a city, so it's going to be kind of hard for tanks to have success there, but they're doing okay. Uh, these guys are about to get cut off in supply. Really nothing to be done about that right now. Let's just get these guys trying to help this out here. That's going to fail, so we'll stop it. And we'll go and attack those guys right there. Alright, so getting this all wrapped up here. Getting that division destroyed. Alright, excellent. And these guys can now attack over this way. And let's go ahead and make sure that they're assigned to this. Get rid of this here. Alright, beautiful. So yeah, these guys did get cut off in supply, but that's okay. We'll just try and reconnect right here. And not sure where they're gone, but we'll keep them here. Alright, so that's just about finished up there. We'll take a look and see how things are going here, see if there's anything to be done. So we'll attack them there, get that province. And then let's go and push forward here. Send another division to kind of help out. Make sure we don't lose that there. Alright, so these guys here have been cut off on supplies. So let's get them destroyed now. Alright, beautiful. Getting some things done here, guys. So I'm attack them there to end that up. Let's go and just take a look at how things are going over here. Just make sure that no invasions have happened. Make sure supply is not too bad. Yeah, so far supply looks fine. Uh, we might need to get infrastructure going up a little bit higher in this region. Yeah, let's do... Like so. Alright, so that looks pretty good. This is also going to get us some, some nice steel here, so that would be helpful. Uh, looking for areas that might get us a little bit of tungsten. Yeah, that's not our territory there. Uh, but yeah, tungsten is, is the main thing I think we need right now. So if we see any tungsten provinces, then we should probably build those up. Uh, tungsten provinces that we actually control, of course. I'm not seeing any here just yet. Alright, so almost got that division destroyed there. Not sure where these guys are gone. Let's make sure they come over to this province here. Let's go and push forward here. And you know what? Let's go up along here. Gotta get in Kara before we get the win, guys. That's what's uh, delaying us right now. Once we get in Kara, I think they should be defeated. I'm gonna attack those guys right there, and that should be an easy win. Yeah, we're pushing forward there, but it's not quite enough yet. Let's go ahead and go here. And these guys can actually go this way. We'll have them push forward across this region. So they are attempting to attack us there, but yeah, I think it'll be irrelevant. Although they're about to connect here, I don't know who's actually going there. Alright, so yeah, it's a problem trying to get these guys destroyed. Let's go make sure we're doing that quickly. Got some more troops here to help out, but yeah, this is a problem if they were to connect them there. So hopefully we get that done. There we go. So they're destroyed. So even if they did connect them, there's no troops that they're actually saving there. Alright, so now let's go ahead and get these guys going over to this and just, just okay. Uh, just make sure there wasn't nothing there. Just gonna push forward over here. And then we'll get that guy right there cut off from supply. Trying to avoid it going across rivers. We did get in Kara, so that might be enough. Let's just take a look and see how we've done against the Turks. See if these guys are ready to capitulate. I don't know if they joined a faction. 
No, they did not join a faction. I mean, we'll get a peace treaty when we defeat them. They're currently at 75% towards capitulation right now. And as far as casualties go, they've taken 349,000 casualties. We did 326,000 of that so far. All right, so that's fantastic. Also, it looks like the Turks have had success here in Syria. We'll have to take a look at that in a second. But yeah, 75% towards capitulation. Uh, as far as the casualties we've taken, we've taken 23,000 against the Turks while we killed... Uh, 327,000. So yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. But yeah, Germany lost here in Syria, so we'll have to retake all this territory, which is actually good. That'll result in us getting that territory. I think. I guess it doesn't matter on who controls it. I guess the, uh, or who owns it. So France still owns that, of course. So, yeah, that, that would result in us having to take that territory. Uh, so that's what we'll do, and that'll overall be a good thing, I think. Uh, because the Germans had it before, and now we'll have it. So, yeah, that's overall good. Good thing. So they're just about capitulated. Just some more key victory points we have to take. Particularly these ones here, I think, would be helpful. Get those guys going that way. Alright, we're having to fight there, but that's okay. Just looking for other areas we can advance in. Push forward here. Alright, just slow going there. Uh, we did get our national focus selected, or finished, excuse me. So let's go ahead and go with the naval ones now, because I think we have, yeah, everything else, uh, with the exception of the, the parachute battalions. Uh, let's go with the reform here. And then with the military factories, we'll get the signs. We'll just do two more infantry equipment, just trying to uh, just put them somewhere. At this point, there's really not a whole lot that we need. I guess we can upgrade equipment. I suppose that works. Something to do. And then we did take this naval base, and I'm wanting to put some more planes over here, uh, so we will. Uh, let's go ahead and move them from whatever ones we have sitting in the stockpile right now. We actually have close air support over here, but that's okay, because we can use those once we do our invasions. Now, this is not large enough. Okay. So for right now, let's just move them over here, have them do naval strikes, and then we need to build this up. And if I was going to assign anybody here, we'd want to put naval bombers there. So it's going to get them going now, though I think I actually have... Some naval bombers training somewhere. I thought I did. Maybe not. So yeah, we'll have to go and get a naval bomber wing over here. If we even have those in the stockpile, I assume we do. Let's just take a look. There's close air support, so I want to say they're down here somewhere. Here we go. Alright, so we'll get these guys assigned to naval strike here. And then we'll have to build up this air base. And we're going to put that up to the top so we can really focus on this here oops all right let's put that up to the top all right excellent and japan seems to continue to have success in china now so things are going a little bit differently than they had been going for uh for the japanese there because they've been having a lot of trouble and now they're actually doing okay now oh, that's across the river i'm gonna stop that that's kind of silly uh, let's go and attack these guys here. We won that defense, and now we're pushing forward across here. Now we just need to get this finished up here. Let's have these guys go over to there while they go and attack Rhodes. All right, so getting these knocked out, guys. And do have a division here, but we want to keep... Oh, we'll have them push forward there. Let's go this way as well. Grab that province. That's not going to work there, so we'll just push forward here. Alright, so just wait until we get all of our troops in their locations. I don't know if these guys... No, that won't work. Alright, so yeah, just need to be patient and wait in some of those areas. Alright, so that's been wrapped up. A lot of divisions assigned over here. I'm just uh, It's going to be wrapped up here soon, so they'll, they'll get reassigned over to this location. It'll be fine. Let's go and have these guys push forward here. All right, so yeah, just need a couple more provinces, guys. And then we'll have these guys defeated. Grab that one. And yeah, a couple more victory points. Remember, we do get the peace treaty as well, which is nice. So we're to just straight up annex this territory here. Let's go here now. All right, beautiful. 
Okay. Uh, so, yeah, this is the last thing I wanted to... Well, you know what? We're going to have a peace treaty here, and this is the end of the episode. So, you know what? We're going to have to end it here, and then we'll do the peace treaty with the Turks uh, next episode. Since I, I think they're very, very close now to capitulating. Yeah, they're at 93%. So, we'll do that peace treaty next episode. As far as our uh, war participation in this conflict, if we were to just look at... should be this one right here. Uh, we have 97% of the total war participation, so definitely will control that treaty there, as you'd expect. So this is going to be the end of today's episode. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do hope to see you guys on the next episode, and thanks for watching.